going on guys, we're back. Um, let me show you what I got going on, as I've been mentioning, and I think I showed some of it in the last video. I got the race mower, trying to get it ready. Uh, today is Thursday, I'm not sure when this video will go up, but um, I got a race in exactly one week. It's a national event, so, you know, I don't want to drive six and a half hours to have something stupid go wrong. But um, what, I'm, what I'm doing here is I just wanted to show you guys uh, pretty much what a racing mower is all about. So I'll start out on the rear end, uh, inch and a quarter cart rear end, um, cart sprockets, sprocket hubs, brake components, uh, MCP, uh, pretty much all cart products, uh, bearings, hangers, all that, uh, number 40 roller chain, um, nothing out of the norm here. The hubs are a little different, boiler just kicked on. The hubs aren't cart, they're set up to take a four on four uh, bolt pattern. And uh, we got eight inch wide wheels, so uh, eight inch, eight inch by eight inch wheels. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty much the the major difference on the rear end is pretty much just the hubs from from cart. Um, and of course, the transmission you can see that up in there. Um, I'm going to show you guys that a little better from another angle. Also, I'm trying one of these AMG batteries for the first time. Uh, it seems like I could get two seasons out of the ones uh, regular lead acid that you had to pour the pour the acid in. It seems like I'd get about two seasons and then yeah, they just would pretty much lose their power. Um, here's our uh, master cylinders, we got them both doubled up since we have front brakes now. Oh, and here's the bias adjuster. Still gotta get that all set up. Okay, underneath the transmission now and you can see the, uh, the rear pulley and uh, that's the transmission up there. Uh, it's a little grimy but you can see that aluminum. Um, yeah, it's bolted into just a little bracket I made up down here. Uh, there's the battery, the bottom of the battery, just to give you a little reference uh, from the last shot. So, you know, you'll see that it's not all that much different from a regular stock lawnmower as far as it's still a belt drive. Um, that's that's in the rules. I race USLMRA. I believe it's in most, most rules to have, a, you know, some kind of um, belt clutch where you actually have to disengage the belt, um, except for some of the more exotic race classes. But um, you can see the steering arm down here. Uh, you know, this is all, all custom-made stuff, uh, the clutch I made up myself. So, you know, we really don't use that much for stock parts on these mowers. All right, back up top now. Boy, they're finally kicked off. Um, as you can see on the uh, running board here, I got like a little bit of a deck half here. Um, that's just for the appearance. That's, that's per our rules. We do have to keep uh, some, some lawnmower appearance. Um, so you basically have to run stock body panels. You can alter the fenders a little bit for wheel fitment. And um, you do have to run deck halves. Um, you know, I, it's, I think it's cool. You know, it keeps us from racing something that, you know, doesn't really resemble a lawnmower at all. Um, the front end here, you guys have seen the last video. And uh, if you didn't see the last video, go ahead and check it out. Um, you know, I don't do a step-by-step -step how to. I basically just show what I did and, you know, what, what this front end's all about. Um, we got the motor here, 31 cubic inch flathead, was a 28. Um, so let me show you guys a little bit of what's going on inside this motor before I sealed it up. Yeah, so over at the motor table we got quite a mess. I uh, just wanted to show you a few things on the uh, 28 before I put it together and uh, then you won't be able to see it. Actually, it's a 31 now. So uh, as you can see, there's a uh, sleeve in here. It's been sleeved and bored to accept a 31 cubic inch piston from a um, overhead valve motor. Uh, put a nice deck on it and um, also I did this myself I just cleaned it up a little bit uh, it's called unshrouding the valves um, it's a flathead so you know you want the air to spill uh, into the cylinder and out of it a little easier so you know hopefully we get a little more flow my other motor had it um, but they did it at the shop last time this time I you know I tackled it myself um, it came out all right you know not too bad I, I didn't go over the top with it just just a little bit that's pretty much it for anything that's new on this motor putting the same 11 horse head on. Um, as you can see it has some machining marks in there. That's from uh, years ago when I did it. Uh, I put this put this head on the motor. It seemed to help out. It definitely bumps up the compression ratio uh, compared to a 12 horse or a 28 cubic inch head. Um, especially if you're removing some material from the deck here. Then, um, you know, it doesn't look like much, but you might be surprised by how much uh, compression ratio you'd be sacrificing by removing that and um, running a stock head. So other than that, that, that's pretty much it for this motor until I put it back together. 
Uh, I'm gonna do the timing on it and everything, try to do it right. But, you know, I just wanna show you guys these things before I close it up. So that's pretty much it. Uh, just a short little video. That's a brief overview of what a racing lawnmower is all about. Uh, I got the timing wheel on here set up. Uh, I gotta get into that pretty soon. Um, I called the cam manufacturer, get the, uh, get the degree. They say 30 degrees advance, pretty much what they run. At a 12 inch cart steering wheel. I wanna get the 14. That's what I have in my other mower over there. Um, I could just take it off, but yeah, it takes a little effort. Uh, as you can see, the body panels, those are uh, just primed. They came out pretty bad. I'm going to have to sand them down. So um, that's pretty much what I have to do on this motor, uh, mower, rather, is uh, finish up the body panels, do some paint on those, um, set the motor up, time it, you know, get it all tuned up. I uh, want to probably bore out a carb and uh, set up the brakes. So I'd say I'm about 90% done. i got a week to go. Um, let's hope we can do it. So that's pretty much what I've been up to. Uh, this thing's been killing me. It's been taking up all my time. Uh, I can't wait to get done with it. Get some other projects going on. It's pretty close, pretty close. Um, but yeah, in any case, um, definitely gonna be doing some recording at this uh, race down, uh, it's in Maryland, Bulls Farm. It's a national USLMRA race. So I'm definitely gonna be doing some recording for that. So uh, by the time you guys see this video now, um, stay tuned, probably about a week or so following that, I'll be posting uh, content from the race. So. Wish me luck down there, and uh, any questions, anything like that, you guys, um, you know, feel free to leave in the comments. Uh, I know a lot of people don't know too much about lawnmower racing. It's not everywhere, but um, hopefully it will be pretty soon.